Hey everybody, Carl here from Aft, and in this video we're gonna show you how to properly unbox the 55 inch Q80D series QLED TV from Samsung. This is their top of the line for their 4K QLED models for 2024. It does come in a variety of sizes, so the unboxing method does vary slightly between the different sizes, so make sure you double check your instruction manual for whichever size you get. But in this one, we're gonna focus on the 55 inch, so stay with us. Okay, so on the 55 inch, our first step is going to be to cut through the tape that is holding the box together. And we're just gonna use a knife for that. Whoops. And we'll keep going there. And then you just pop the top open and on the top, you're gonna see some accessories that we're gonna be pulling out here in just a second. The first one we're gonna take out here is just the, looks like packet of accessories. We've got the remote control and a power cable here. And then on the other side, we have what looks to be just the back piece that attaches to the pedestal and then attaches to the back of the television. All right, now that we've gotten the accessories out of the top, we're just gonna remove this top piece of styrofoam so that we can continue unboxing the TV. So now that we have the styrofoam out of the top, you're gonna to see these two perforations on the back of the 55 inch box. On the 65 and higher, you actually typically just lift the box off the TV here. We're going to kind of tear this flap over until we get to the perforations. And then once we're there, you just sort of tear down. And you're gonna do that on each side. And once you have this back piece kind of folded all the way down, you'll see another piece of the pedestal. This is the base plate. We're just gonna lift that up out of the way. And now from here with the help of a friend, we're gonna lift the TV out of the box. And there are a couple handholds that you can reach down into. The one on the right hand of the back of the box is a little tight. So you're just gonna have to kind of work a little harder there. But once you have that up, we can just flip it around here and lay it face down on a flat surface. All right, and now we're going to assemble the pedestal. So you've got the neck piece, you've got the base plate, and it does come with two packets of bolts that are attached to this piece here. They're both M4 by L14s, so it doesn't matter which one you use. And the first step we're going to take is to remove the wire cover off of here. So you just kind of put your finger in there. There's a little arrow, you can kind of see it on here. You put your finger in there and just sort of pull straight out at you and it'll pop out of place. And we'll just set that off to the side. Now here, you're gonna see a hole in the bottom. And that is going to go over this little piece right here that sticks up from the base plate. And once that's in there properly, if you look straight down at it, you'll see all of the bolts are lined up. So then we're gonna open one package of them here. And there are four of them in there. And we will simply screw those down to hold everything in place. Okay, now we're going to attach this whole assembly to the back of the TV. As you can see here on the top, on the neck piece, it's got these two tabs that stick up. And then on the back here, there's a couple of cutouts and then there's these two little notches that stick up and all of that sort of has to line up. So the way to do it is to sort of angle it in. So start by sliding those knobs in and making sure they land in here. And then you can just sort of set it down and everything else should line up. And again, as you're looking straight down, you just want all of the holes where you're gonna screw down into to line up straight down. And then we'll open our other packet here and tighten everything down. Now we're just going to plug in the power cord to the back of the TV and we can kind of route it around here and down the cable management area here. And then from there, we will put the cover back on. 
And you can also, this is also where you'll, if you choose to run all your HDMI cables and any other cables you have connected to the TV, but right now it's just the power cord and we just push that down until it's back in place and now we can lift the TV up and set it upright. And now again with the help of a friend, we're just going to lift the TV up and spin it around and set it upright. And last thing to do is just plug in the power cord and we'll be all set. And now we're just gonna take off the protective layer here on the outside and we'll be able to turn the TV on and show you the picture. All right, so we've got the Q80D all set up on the pedestal. We've had a chance to look at the picture here for a little bit, and it is a really nice picture. This is gonna be the first TV in their lineup for 2024 that gets full array direct backlighting. So that is gonna make a difference between this one and the 70, for example. But in our initial views on it, it picture quality is great. We weren't expecting anything different. Uh, audio quality is, is fine. It's not got the most powerful system built in, but Again, that's sort of what you get at this level of television. Overall, really nice, uh, really nice product. We're gonna have a full overview video on this one, and we're gonna do a comparison between this, the 70 and the 60, so you can see what you get as you move up in the lineup. So make sure you stay tuned for those. As always, we appreciate you guys watching, and we will see you in the next one.